All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's talk about trigonometric ratio of acute angles in simplified form. Trigonometric ratio of acute angles in simplified form. You know, we treated this topic in full. How we derived so many formulas. For instance, cot squared theta is equal to cosec squared theta minus 1. We have cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sin squared theta. We have tan squared theta is equal to sec squared theta minus 1. We have cos squared theta is equal to 1 plus cot squared theta. We have sin squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta. We have sec squared theta is equal to tan squared theta plus 1. You know, sometimes uh, people were asking, is there not any other means? that one can memorize this easily or you know this something like this is it looks somehow difficult to remember is there not a way that I can remember this so easily all right this is what we want to treat today i want to show you how you can remember these formulas in less than 30 seconds you can write out these formulas in less than 30 seconds it's very simple you don't have to be singing it as a song no 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 i want to show you a very simple way that you can list and know these formulas you know you can call it pythagorean identities i want to show you how you can list these formulas without experiencing any difficulties i want to show you how you can list these formulas with ease very easy all right okay now let's go the one thing i want you to know very well is this i want you to get it in your head that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one hello even if someone wakes you from a sleep or even in your dreams i want you to know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one is that clear and then whenever you hear anything about uh, pythagorean identity or trigonometric ratio of acute angles you know in some of your solvings it may be required i just want you to remember that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one all right this is the major this is just what i want you to know once you know this everything is settled all right now let's go you have sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Is that true? Yes. I want you to divide through, divide everything by sine square theta. Now let's go. That means going to have sine square theta divided by sine square theta plus cos square theta divided by sine square theta is equal to 1 all over sine square theta. You know that in any expression, when you multiply it or divide it by the same value it remains the same or the same number it remains the same okay so as you divide everything by the same value it remains the same all right now let's go now we are having sine square theta all over sine square theta plus cos square theta all over sine square theta equal to one all over sine squared theta all right good now sine square theta divided by sine square theta it's going to give you one is that true yes and then cos square theta all over sine square theta what is this you know if you remember you discover that this is uh the inverse of sine square theta all over cos square theta and then we say that sine square theta all over cos square theta is tan theta all right yes now in this case now is inverse of it so inverse of tan square theta is what cot square theta that means we're going to say that cos square theta all over sine square theta is Called squared theta equal to now we have one all over sine squared theta you know this is just inverse of sine squared theta and then we say that inverse of sine squared theta is the same as cosec squared theta cosec squared theta is that true yes now that means here we are having one plus cot squared theta is equal to cosec squared theta is that true yes now from here you can make any of 
these values either called square theta or cos square theta the subject now let's decide to make cot square theta the subject so when you make this the subject we are going to have cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta minus one you get it yes and then that means we are solved for this one right yes you can also decide to make cosec square theta the subject is going to give you cot square theta plus one is that true or one plus cot squared theta is that true yes that means we have solved for two formulas now now let's go again still in this uh, expression sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one in this case now i want you to divide both sides divide everything by cos squared theta so that means we're going to have sine squared theta all over cos squared theta plus cos squared theta all over cos squared theta equal to one all over cos squared theta is that true yes now from here sine squared theta all over cos squared theta what is it is the same as saying tan squared theta is that true yes plus cos squared theta divided by cos squared theta is going to give you one and then we have equal to one all over cos squared theta 1 all over cos square theta is the same as saying what? Inverse of cos theta. So inverse of cos square theta is sec squared theta. So here we have tan square theta plus 1 is equal to sec squared theta. Is that true? Yes. From here, let's decide to make sec squared theta the subject. So that means we're going to have tan square theta plus 1. That means we are solved for this. Okay? Yes. Good. We can also make tan square theta the subject. So from here we have tan square theta is equal to sec square theta minus 1. We also solve for this. So you discover that in less than 20 seconds, you can bring out these formulas using sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So in the first place, you divide both sides by sin square theta. So as you divide everything by sin square theta, you know what you obtain. So from there, you make any of them the subject of formula, and then you come back again and say sine square theta plus cos square theta divide two by cos square theta. So from here, you know your values, and then you make any of them the subject of formula. You bring out all the Pythagorean identities that is required for any of the problem you are solving for. All right. Yes. Let's take more example. Thank you for watching. Please, if you are new to our channel, please, I want you to subscribe to our channel and also share and like our videos. Thank you very much. See you next time.